Hello Taurus and welcome to the channel. This is Kelsey from Empress of Energy. Ready to jump into a current energy check for my gorgeous bulls, my babies, my angels. How are we? Um, sorry I didn't get on yesterday. I had a crazy day and I had more of a fresh air day. I felt the need to go and get very grounded. Um, so, yeah. Anywho, I feel so much better for it though. So... You know, barefoot in the grass, as soggy as it was. <laughs> it was necessary. Um, so here we are today. Let's see what's going on. Listen, I, see, I feel like someone needs your advice. I feel like someone wants your advice, needs your advice. Um, could be someone younger than you. But let's see. I'm going to get some messages from the universe today. I'm going to see what the universe has got to say. How are you, my, da my darlings? If you're new to the channel, guys, do subscribe if you're returning. I love you all. I absolutely do. I really, really do. Let's get some messages for Taurus. So place the sign in your birth chart any way you like. Somebody rising in Venus. Cross watch is always welcome. Flip the rolls as you see fit. You know the crack. Don't force the messages to fit if they're not for you. Not got time for that over here. Show me. Whoa, thank you. Show me messages for Taurus is what I was going to say. Okay, we've got when I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. Yeah, I did see in the pre-shuffle, I feel like some of you have gone through a little bit. You know, not I'm not going to say for a second feeling sorry for yourself, but you've had some shit news or something necessarily, not just, you'd rather you didn't get it or you'd rather it, it was the opposite or something. Not something so terrible, I mean, for some of you maybe, but, you know, it's... There's a lot of gloomy energy. You're spending too much time in bed, um, sleeping too much, some of you. But it's because you've been through something. It's time to now get up, is basically what I'm saying. You know, for some of you, I do know that there's been losses. So I can only ima imagine what you're going through. I do know what you're going through for some of you. Um, but now's the time to get up. Get up, get out of bed. Get your joyful self back. Because the universe needs that. And you need that support from the universe. 222 on the clock when I just said that. There is a stream of love supporting my dreams. Hell yes, there is. So it's time to get back to going with the flow, okay? Very much so. There's a lot of divine protection, guidance, angelic energy around you, okay? So much support. And I feel like you're being very much... You're not being begged, but you're being strongly asked to get up. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. Yeah, your energy is needed. Your energy is so needed. You're needed. Your power, your light. What you do and how you affect people, how you influence. It's so needed. You literally create a ripple effect of peace in the world. So, you know, you've not too much time in bed. Not too much time alone. Because people need you. Someone needs you. Someone needs you. Someone needs your help, someone needs your support for a lot of you. Your advice, your guidance, your wisdom. My fearless freedom lights up the world. Some of you are feeling the need to just completely isolate because of your external circumstances that have been nothing but dog shit for however long. Don't, don't let it, di someone could be trying to darken your light, didn't you lie? Don't, don't let them put your light out. Whatever's gone on, and I get it, it's going to be different for a lot of you. Um, I'm not disregarding it in the slightest but now's the time to get up and out of bed however that can resonate with your Taurus but again I feel like someone wants your wisdom someone wants your guidance your light your energy your presence and it's like don't be fit don't be scared to put yourself out there don't be scared to be you your crazy little self do you know what I mean don't don't put that down don't put that down do not darken it do not dampen it and most definitely do not let anyone else do that to you um, but I do see someone needing your advice in some kind of way. Something's about to come to a completion. It is, and it's been a long time. So it's like you never see the end. It's like you never see the end. Maybe you get so far, and then there's something else that comes in that puts you back a step or two. You know, it's like so you're at the point, or you have been recently. I take this energy as it resonates. Time is fluid, guys. Um, past is a minute ago and prior. Future is in a minute and beyond. So you're in the you're in a mind frame of like, well, there's no, when the fuck is this going to end? Or it's like, you know, you've just had a little bit of a minute where you've thought, fuck it, I'm just going to bed, can't be asked. What's the point? Something of that effect? No. 
No, no, no. No. This is you. Show yourself. Show yourself off. Love yourself. Don't let the external circumstances get to you. There's someone here. Main, main male to the rich girl. It's like the rules of the sea fit, guys. No gender in tarot. There's somebody here. Someone wants... Someone wants someone's help or someone's support, someone's advice. And for a lot of you, this is someone wanting yours. Uh, yeah, look, the good lady. For some of you, this is some kind of wisdom that you want, that someone wants from you. Because they're going through a similar situation that you may have been once been through. Family court, divorce. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, there's something going on where you're kind of outside of it. Um, staying you. And there's something going on in someone else's environment that's quite shit and they're quite sad. But that's going to end, yeah, the rich man, that rich dude that we always see. Could be someone that you work with or someone that you've met at work or someone that you want to work with. They're going through something quite chaotic and they kind of need your guidance, maybe, or they want it. Your support, your advice, maybe even just your energy, your presence. You're going to be meeting up with this person there thinking about how to approach that. This could be a friend or a family member or something like that, but for a lot of you, it's not. Show me messages for Taurus. If this isn't you, and you know, take flip the rolls as you see fit. You know what to go. Show me messages for Taurus, please, spirit. Show me Mars and Venus. A lot of you are empaths, right? And a lot of you are connected to somebody very much where you're feeling what they're feeling, and it's it's getting you down, okay? Um. It's because you're channeling, you're channeling them. Others of you, it's not just one person in particular. You could be channeling so many different people's energies because you are that much of, of an empath. You're an earth angel, and but your 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 shit's not great right now. So it's like I can't 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 be asked. Can't deal. I'm going to bed. Nope. Get up. Meditate. Get up and meditate. Release. Do some affirmations because your energy is very much needed. <clears throat> Show me messages for Taurus. Grief and sorrow, card number 32. So some of you, you know, a lot of you are grieving. A lot of you are grieving right now. And I can't send enough hugs if I could, if I, if I tried, um, if I could, I would. But this is also a five, which is change. So again, I get out of bed. You need to get up, guys. And it was whatever you're missing, whatever you're sad about. It doesn't have to be a person. It could be a situation. It could just be a lifestyle. It could be, you know, anything. Show me more. Show me more for us. Thank you. Card number 22. I'm really sure. There's a lot of synchronicities around you. I've seen 222 already, 444. Show me more. I feel like... I feel like you've been very much urged to take control of yourself, your emotions, how you're letting something affect you. Um, wow, okay. This is to do with the connection for a lot of you. Success in love. Or... Yeah, it is. <laughs> I say about all loving on yourself, but that might be for one or two of you. But for for others, that you're missing someone, you're missing someone, or oh, they're missing you. Someone's missing you, and you're not. So whoever's missing the <clears throat> sorry, whoever's missing the other person is kind of not taking action on it right now. They're kind of staying in control of that. Um, And I feel like for a lot of you, again, divine masculines, I feel like it's the state in control is on that side because they've got something else going on. Something of major importance could be de dealing with a divorce, family court, but it's going to come to an end for them in, in their, in their favour kind of thing, which then in turn will go in your favour, do you know what I mean? But for a lot of you, this is also you dealing with a situation, your divorce your family court and again it's whatever and whoever is dealing with it guys 
it's absolutely going to come to a beautiful close and a beautiful end. And then for those of you that this isn't you, sorry, that this is you dealing with closing something out, there's someone right there as soon as it does. As soon as this journey is completed, whoever's on it, there's something beautiful right there as soon as it finishes. Do you know what I mean? I hope that made sense. Let's get tarot. Hmm, let's get tarot. Let me know if these messages are resonating, guys. There's a new beginning coming. See a lot of fire around you, as usual. Oh, the tower. Okay. Unexpected changes coming. There's an unexpected new beginning coming. Blank canvas time. Divine intervention. The world. Wow. Wow. What powerful energy. So... A lot of you, there's so much protection over you. I can't stress that enough. I know I say it on every single reading, but that's because I see it in every single reading. So you've got some strong protection, protection over you. And there's something going on that is borderline out of your control. So it's going to hit you like a tower. And again, not all tower moments are shit, but it's going to be unexpected nonetheless. Um, Uh-oh, King of Wands. So the Queen of Pentacles. And it could be a Leo. But there's someone coming in. Someone that you want, though, as well, for the majority of you. Or there's something coming in that you want through another individual. Take that as it resonates. Strength, very strong Leo energy all around you. Wow. Surrounding you. Some of you could have a Leo on your chart, or you've got a Leo surrounding your energy. Mm hmm. Strong as fuck. The Four of Pentacles. Okay. Someone that you're trying not to deal with, in a way. Oh, justice. Justice is about to get brought to this situation. For fucking... Oh, my God. What is that? That's amazing. Listen, someone that you're... For those of you that this is a legal situation to do with money, yeah? You're going to get some serious-ass justice coming in for all... Every single sword that got put in your back. Um, when you was nothing other than a wish for this person, yeah? They stabbed you all over. And justice is absolutely being served for that. They're facing some serious just justice. If this is anyone in court, yeah, look at the eyes that they're facing. They're not fucking about. Someone is not happy with this person, whether this is karma or in real life. There's not someone's not happy with this person. That's placed or all people that have placed stars in your back. Love this. Something could be going down in Libra season. Karma is being served. Possibly. More so for a Leo, but it, take that as it resonates. It could be anyone that's put a sword in your back, fucked you over. Took a piece of your happiness away, yeah? Again, more Leo energy with the sun. But it's all about to come right. I love this. For some of you, you are getting this person that you just kind of don't see coming, but you want very, very, very much, very much. They want you. Too, but you're trying to ignore it, you're trying to not focus on it. For some of you where uh, you're dealing with someone, if this isn't about money, a legal situation about money, yeah, it's about holding on to somebody, wanting them, wanting them and holding on to them. If this is about money, it's like you've been you felt the need to cling on to yours like fuck because of this person. And it's that clinging on, that holding on, that whatever you've done. It's going to serve you right. In whatever way that can resonate, guys. I hope I'm making sense. Show me Taurus' energy, please, spirit. What does Taurus need to say? Summer and rising of Venus. Thank you. The High Priestess. Yes, now. Listen to your discernment. You could have gone mysterious. Very mysterious. Lone black wolf. Do you know what I mean? The High Priestess is not just intuitive. She's also very mysterious, secretive. So this could be something, if not yourself, that you're keeping to yourself. Um, but you're listening to your intuition. You're trusting the moon cycles, which I love. Um, you know, you're trusting your, your vibrations. You know, wolves, it's like you're hypersensitive and you're trusting every single sense. And I love that. Carry on doing it. Come down with the Pisces. Show, show me more, please. The 
Devil, okay. The Page of Wands, Temperance. <sighs> Let's get more. Someone, someone really wants to come flirt with you. Got the Major Arcana, the High Priestess, the Devil, the Page of Wands, Temperance, the Nine of Wands, the Moon, and the Hanged One. Strong Pisces energy in this reading. But you could be dealing with anyone, guys. Cancer, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Someone's not about to let you go, I don't think. The Nine of Wands. There's patience that's been had or needed in a situation. Whether that be from you, most definitely from you. Most definitely from you. Someone wants to come and be playful with you. So cute though. <laughs> it's very cute. Could be dealing with a younger fire sign. Or someone that was just... It's not like... You know like in the other decks you can see the page of wands. You'll light a fire and not give a fuck who he burns kind of thing. It's a, quite a playful energy. It's a playful energy. Still non-committal, highly likely, but playful. Um, or they're coming in as such, they're coming in to be playful. Someone wants to be playful with you. Two of Wands, the Emperor. Three of Pentacles. You know, like I said earlier, someone kind of like needs your advice, your guidance. Someone does, um, but it's like maybe in regards to a marriage, or someone wants your advice because you've been through something of the similar similar thing. But with the emperor, it could be dealing with Aries, but it's like someone is really trying to stay in control. They want to maybe approach as a friend because they need your advice, kind of thing, or it could be a friend. It is a friend. Take it as it resonates. For those of you that it's not a friend, they're going to come in as such, maybe, but that's because they don't want you to tell them to like piss off initially. They want to like test the waters if you like. They want to see what you're up to also. But they know that you're, not, you're a nice person, you're like I've already talked, spoke about being an empath. So even if this person has already fucked you over, they come in saying, look, Taurus, I kind of like need your help here or I need your advice or your guidance or something to that effect. You're not going to say no to him. You're just not that kind of person. They know that, and that's the way in. <laughs> or so they think. Let's clarify. Does this make sense? But there's something unseen. There's something going on. There's someone... Let's, let's clarify. Let's clarify. Three of songs. Also, those of you that know intuitively that someone is obsessed with you, you're absolutely f bang on. Bang on the money. High Priestess. Honestly, first card in both decks. Well, I know it's not come out yet, but still. Trust your, trust your intuition, guys. Honestly. You know someone's leaving a situation. You know someone's taking themselves out of a situation, whether this be you or somebody else. You know someone is about to leave. Mm -hmm. The Emperor. But you know someone's, someone's going through a situation, they are. And if this isn't putting on a brave face, if this is someone that you've ended things with, yeah, your husband, your relationship, whatever, I'll take it to resonate, it's your, your wife. Um, and that person is acting very aloof disinterested not bothered it's completely the opposite and you, your intuition knows that right and you're absolutely right for those of you that that doesn't resonate with and this is somebody else's situation kind of thing and they're kind of not dealing with you right now whilst they're dealing with something else your high, your intuition again is telling you that this is all going on and 
you're going through something quite difficult, a battle that's quite difficult, but it's about to end. <clears throat> and I feel like there's success there, which again in there in turn brings that to you. So mm -hmm. someone's mask is about to get blown right off. For those, some of you it's about money. Um, but others of you, it's about coming into you, yeah? And again, it's because they want your advice. <laughs> For those of you that this is a money situation, you're going to find something out. Someone someone might come and bring you some kind of information or some kind of revelation, something to that effect. Show me this high priestess, please, for Taurus. The Ten of Swords, Judgment, okay. Ten of Wands. Okay, there's a lot of completions going on here. Tens of completions, guys. The Ten of Swords, Judgment, and the Ten of Wands. So, listen, for those of you that... This is going to go a couple of different ways. Personal, uh, not general reading, not personal, guys. So, for those of you that was in a situation and someone left you to go and try and fix something else, that's not gone, that's not worked. And the attempt of doing so is done. Someone's done it trying. Someone doesn't want reconciliation no more, okay? You know this intuitively is going on. That won't be for everyone, however. Um, this is also you lot understanding that you don't want reconciliation with somebody. If you're in a relationship, you don't want to fix it no more. If you're in a relationship or a commitment, you're done trying. Someone's done trying. Or even if you are in a relationship, you feel like your person's done trying. You, you're right. Queen of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Swords. Someone is stressed to fuck. And they're going to communicate to you. They're going to be messaging you. You're kind of... A lot of you, this is you in your power. Not asked, not even looking. Can't see them. Sorry, just being a big grass. But... It's just a way in. Show me this devil. I don't necessarily see this devil energy as very obsessive. Maybe um, not as toxic, if you like. Not negative. I don't necessarily see it very negative. Any, any of these cards in this animal tarot deck, you know, they're all quite beautiful cards. Um, but there's something fire. There's something that can't be... Con the, the temptation, temptation, there you go. It was something very, 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 very tempting. And I feel like that's you. Very tempting, too tempting. But, ha, you get burned. Do you know what I mean? Potential burning is going to go on. But this, they don't care. Someone don't care. Show me this devil. Show me this devil for Taurus. The page of cups. Five of Pentacles, so someone's going to come and say sorry for ghosting you. <laughs> yep. So for those of you that have not been in contact with this person, they're going to come and say sorry. This was, you know, like they're going to tell you, they're going to tell you, like, listen, it was too, it was too risky, it was too hot, it was too whatever. So I've had to ghost you. I've had to, and again, some of you, this is you. Give me one more, but I've had to just, I've left you feeling like, what the fuck is going on? Because something's been too risky. Maybe about children, for children. Because of a child. Show me one more, please, for this devil. The Knight of Cups, yeah, they're going to come and tell you. Explain. But they're going to come and do it quite playfully. I think. Maybe they're going to gift you something. Maybe, like, bring something. You know, like, one of them where they know... <laughs> you know, like, they're going to have to come in with food. Because... Or something to hand over to be like, you know, so you don't bite the head off, basically. <laughs> something that they know that you like. Mm. A little gift. A little gift. A little peace offering. A little peace offering. A bottle of wine. A particular flower that's your favourite. Take that as it resonates. There's been arguing over a third party situation that's needed to be healed. And it's, listen, those of you that have been in the third party situation, you've needed out of this because of the conflict that it's brought. So you've needed to have patience and healing from this situation. Um, could be Sagittarius. Someone's been dealing with someone from the past. 
Show me this page of wands, please. Queen of Swords. Yeah. Tread carefully. They know that. Someone knows that they've got to tread carefully, so they're going to bring you some of that. Yeah. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. Listen, for some of you, this is straight up money, but for others of you, it's a gift. Um, they want a new beginning, but you're like, what? What are you saying? They know that you're pissed off with them, so that's why they're coming in quite playful, like with that Page of Wands energy. Show me one more, but it's far a new beginning. Show me one more for this page of wands. The five of cups, they, they're sad, they miss you. They miss you. They're regretful. Maybe there's like a false start here, so someone's sad about that. Justice, the eight pentacles. Oh, some of you have got someone very obsessive around you at work, and whatever they're doing, they're not going to get away with it. They're not going to get away with it. Whatever anyone's doing, is not, they're not going to get away with it. But it's someone quite, or some, maybe more than one person. Someone or a group, whether that be at work or maybe they're following you. I don't know. Following you at, you know, if it's on like on, um, you know, like a group of people that follow you about in a way, but it's not in a good way. It's toxic as fuck. Jealousy. That's all going to be, that's all going to be put right. You're getting what you deserve. A lot of you don't give a fuck about the toxic energies that, or the jealousy that people have got on you. Like, you're not arsed what people think of you in a way. You're proper not bothered. Because you know there's a load of shit. But there's something about this all coming right anyway. It's all being put right. Again, Libra season. Hmm. Show me this temperance energy for Taurus, please. Page of Wands again. Six of Pentacles. So someone was very non-committal. Someone was very non-committal. You've had to heal all of that. It's like the imbalance that, oh, right, well, great, well, so I wasn't enough all over again or something to that effect. Show me one more. Four of Wands. So someone... Listen, this is either your relationship or somebody else's. Right, this is three ways this will... Let me explain this in three ways. If this is your relationship, you've been dealing with someone that's not been putting the effort in because they've not been asked or you haven't. Either way, it's just not... The effort's not been there in this. Because there's been possibly something going on with this person outside of the situation, outside of the relationship, that was risky. Non but again, non-committal. It's a player. Someone's been a bit of a dick. Okay. Now, for those of you that this is not your relationship, you could have been dealing with someone that was in one. And you've had to heal over that. Like, well, great. So I've been left over here like a wanker. <laughs> but whatever they've gone towards with that four of ones, it's been just imbalanced with the six of pentacles because it's not where they actually want to be. Wow. You're going to, honestly, if you've been in a third party situation, that person's coming in. I don't know if they're going to be coming in to argue with you because that looks quite shitter. Um, or they've already said something quite shitty and they want to heal it. They want to they want to say sorry. Maybe they blamed you. Someone could have could have blamed you. Well, like, kind of like, you know, like, Tauruses don't get into situations for the fun of it. If you're in, you're in. And... You're lucky for a Taurus to be in on you, to be honest. So I believe. But you was in on this person and they did not necessarily appreciate that the way that they should have done, regardless of what the situation was. But they're now doing so. They could have said something to you like, well, what do you mean? It was only this. They could have talked it down or said something shit to you about the situation. But that's not what you should do to a Taurus. Because if a Taurus cares, they fucking care. Um... It's like, don't push you to the point of not caring. Someone's going to come and say sorry for something shit that they've said to you. Which could have caused an argument. But, yeah. Show me this nine of wands, please. The eight of pentacles. The ten of cups. And the emperor. Look, someone is... Taking yourself out of this ten of cups environment, it's like you someone grew from something. 
and that's absolutely okay and it could be the divine masculine but it doesn't have to be it's with the nine of wands though i feel like someone wants to come and tell you that they leave in a situation maybe it was a situation you were trying to work on and again if this was you trying to work on your relationship it's kind of a oh, i'm done i don't know if your person's going to necessarily let you leave though but you're kind of you're kind of done for those of you that's just for those of you that's this is your relationship i hope this is all making sense in the ways that i can explain it but yeah and for those of you that this is someone else's relationship they're coming to tell you that they're done with it rebirth boom coming on with the scorpio aries energy this everyone's here i think queen of pentacles ace of cups okay Someone sees your worth. We've always known it. Um, don't let yourself get into a, a pattern of questioning your own because of this person and what they've done. They're on their own path, guys. They're on their own path. Those of you that this is not your relationship, it's somebody else's and you just happen to get dragged into it somehow, yeah? That was because they needed that. They needed that. And you happen to be that person that could deal. So that's why you're there. That's why you're here. That's why you've gone through what you have. Um, but those of you that this is your relationship, it's like you've grew from it, elevated, you've ascended, and that's not a bad thing. Do you know what I mean? It's like you've gone through a transformation. Some of you are accepting the fact that you've just, you want something new. Mm hmm I hope that made sense. <laughs> Show me this moon, please. I'm going to clarify the moon and the hang on separately. Show me this moon for Taurus. What is it? Show me this moon, please. The devil. So they could have been oh, the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Listen, there's something going on behind the scenes that you don't necessarily know about. But I feel like you're going to be made aware because someone wants your advice. I've seen this in the pre-shuffle, it's like, you're the light, you're the light bringer, someone wants that, needs that, and it's going to be, they're, coming, they're going to be coming in soon, again, this could be about something that they've said, but, or it's something that someone said to them, or they want to know what, they want your advice on what they should say to someone, what's that devil there for, though, like that? Someone's really, that's what it, someone's desperately trying to keep something secret, hidden. So they want your advice on what to say in some kind of way. Mm, someone's coming towards you. I'm not going to show you these cards because they've got the boobies out. <laughs> but the world and the moon, you just don't see it coming. Some of you are going to get good news as far as the moon is concerned as well. That's coming very soon. New beginning is right there, moving. Yep. Show me this hanged one, please. The Knight of Wands. So you're being told to look at this message from a bigger perspective. Oh, someone's walking towards you. The Eight of Cups and the Empress. So you're being told to listen. Listen. Listen to what's being said. You're possibly going to get a message at night time. This is about how someone wants to walk away, but it's walking towards you. Okay. Why are you going to have to look at that from a bigger perspective? Is that to believe them? Oh, five of Wands and the Three of Swords and the Six of Wands. Someone wants to win this. Someone wants to win. For those of you that have been going through a battle with someone, yeah? They're not going to win. <laughs> they're not. I know it's quite contradictory when I'm putting it in different settings, but those of you that have been going through some kind of battle, fight, and pain through someone in particular, their mask is about to fall off. Their mask is about to get blown right off the face. So they're not going to win. Whichever way and however you can take these messages, guys, you're being told to rest, relax. Well, not rest, relax, because, again, going back to the post well, the universe messages and Kippa get out of bed but it's chill out chill out meditate release don't overthink this situation release it surrender it to spirit surrender it to the universe 
to the divine because there's a lot of wish come trues come in that you just don't necessarily see but that's because you're not allowing yourself to and it's because you just need to do a little bit further surrendering we never ever ever stop surrendering guys because you're always going to have a new question as to why or as to what or as to this whatever do you know what i mean whatever that question is there's always going to be a new one it's just all about then surrendering it again surrendering the outcome again the wondering of why the wondering of when the wondering of where all the rest of it all of that wonder surrender it even if you feel like you've done it already do it again do it again because something's probably crept into your mind which has created a question so surrender it your manifestations of your ten of pentacles is coming if you're just being told to have, have patience and this is ten of pentacles of two people coming together and creating something absolutely legendary it's you're just being told to have patience or reminded to have patience the divine's got you yeah they do but this is why I can't. let's get some moonology let's get some moonology let's get some advice has it made sense with you i hope so your dreams need a practical plan for me and taurus let's get some advice for taurus please believe in the impossible what do you need to release hell yes it's just a wonder but it's like you know the divine's in control if you like but you just like you're fed up you want it now you want it yesterday release it release it your commitment is being tested <laughs> stop spitting you dummy out taurus like for fuck's sake well i've not got it so fine i'm not getting it then i'm off some of you have done that stop doing that Show me messages for Torah. Give me some advice. Expect powerful change. Yeah. New moon eclipse. I think I'm just going to get the one. I'm going to read from the book. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. And I'm pretty sure there's one to come this month, isn't there? Right. This is a super moon card. If you want affirmation that you can achieve your dreams and get the desired outcome in the situation you're asking about, then this is it. This is a card of beginnings and there are powerful energies at work. But be prepared. It could be quite a ride and events now that could be jarring and uncomfortable. Oh, sorry, and it could be quite a ride and events even now could be jarring and uncomfortable. However, any new directions you take will almost lead somewhere better than where you are at the moment. Whatever is happening now is happening for a reason. You'll appreciate later on. I told you, man. Um, a new portal is opening up and all you have to do is have the courage to forget about the past and move through it. You're being put back on the right path. There is nothing to fear. Wow. Never mind the past. Life evolves every single day. Yep, I've said that. Someone's evolving from this. It once was a Ten of Cups environment, yes. It, was, was, it once was this. It's not no more. And that's just down to evolution, guys. People change all the time. So I believe. But well, additional meanings for this card is yes, yes, a thousand times yes. You're being shunted towards your life purpose. Whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good. This is an important turning point in your life. The new moon eclipses are amongst, amongst the most exciting astrological events. They herald a complete change of pace. It's as though you're heading in one direction, probably being guided by your ego. And then here comes the divine, the goddess or spirit to turn you instead to face the direction you actually need to go. Regardless of whether or not there's a new moon eclipse happening when you pull this card, it's a powerful affirmation of positive turnarounds. I cannot stress this enough. So even if some of you are being led by your ego, like I said, you spat your dummy out and thinking, fuck it. No, 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 get back to centre. Get right back to centre, release it, surrender it, because here comes the divine goddess or spirit. I love this, I love this, I love this. Let me know how this has resonated with your, with your Taurus, please. But this is... Oh, I'm just having so many favourite readings for you at the moment. I love it. I'm excited for you. Get doing the surrendering, honestly. I love you all loads. I will see you tomorrow. Mwah.